right here in college and taught math. And he thought, well, in my spare time, let's open a comic book store. If you always want to open a bookstore, and distribution of comics was not a very organized thing back in the 70s. You, uh, he had to go to Hamilton and other places just to get the books he wanted. So he started up a store and found, yes, there were people who wanted to come to that store. Many of them were in this room. He did it with his wife, Sorka, who is here today, and the mom who helped him in the store, and she loved meeting all the fans. This was a gathering place for people who loved comic books, loved to talk about them, and since Eddie was a collector, he could talk about them too. I happen to know he has a special love for Dell Comics and Gold Keys, and we can talk to him about that later. But he was knowledgeable in all aspects of comics. He kept that store going for a long time, and then they sold it to other people who kept it going ever since. On top of that, he has donated, he's already donated 7,000 comic books. Keep in mind, your collection, 7,000 comic books are now at the Weldon Library at the University of Western Ontario for anybody to do research on. So you can go to the library and read 7,000 books he's donated. He's going to donate another 3,000 very soon for a grand total of over 10,000 books from his personal collection. So give him a big hand for that. After he started his store, other bookstores opened up, other comic stores, many of whom are here today, and he supports and applauds them all. And uh, it's a whole different world out there. We're both agreed on that. And uh, I think... All right. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a big hand for the founder of comic book stores in London, Ontario, one of the first in North America, right here, Eddie Smith.
a red ticket, 1737653. That's 1737653.
Filming the lady. or geek go to www.videogamersoasis.com slash blog give me reason to doubt try to keep me down but i'll put the flame out you can't get to me throw your sticks and your stones go break all of my bones you won't ache my soul you can't get to me